It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. Tell me about uh, the show and your involvement with it. Um, I created and produced the animation for the show, um, which in the original Carl Sagan version, the narrative portions um, where we're, they were telling stories about scientists were, um, were live action actors. Um, but Seth McFarland decided for last season that he wanted to animate those um, the storytelling sections. So uh, I created style and um, we produced the, the segments of the show that are in animation. So how difficult is to animate something like this? I mean, you'd imagine the colors, the the shape. There's a lot to go into it, and, and the minuscule even thing that there's outer space and all that. How do you approach that? Well, it is it is very difficult. The when if you look at the style of the animation, you might it's sort of deceptively simple. We 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 the way we designed it is to have um, the characters somewhat stylized because we didn't really have the we didn't have the budget and the time to do like full animated naturalistic animation so and Seth wanted it to be very like sophisticated so but it is it's way more difficult than it, than it may appear the, the backgrounds and the, there are many many locations and the backgrounds are very are very full and rich and um, devised of a lot of different elements and you know we all have really high standards for for the animation because it has to work within the context of this huge show that has amazing visual effects and you know live action and Neil and you know it has to be something that works within the context and doesn't seem jarring to the rest of the show so um, there are like subtle aspects to it that made that made it very difficult um, that you don't really necessarily see as as a viewer but but I it makes an impact so much. <laughs> I think so. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.